All right. I really want this to be good. <laughs> <laughs> it's really... It's going to be a fun day. I don't know how good it will be, to be honest, but it'll be fun. I feel it's a lot better than um, our last deck. Our last deck... It was like... Um, it was as good as... Oh, that's really good. Yeah, our last deck was basically as hey. good as the card we played. That's so, a haste. Um, I think it would make it weaker if it was had haste in its pool. <clears throat> yeah, that's fair. Now, but after the first, yeah. would you, would you play the otter? Or yeah, definitely the giant. I think we want to play. I think the giant. Like the earlier we can get the giant rolling, it's the better. Yeah. Because it accumulates um every turn. Best case, if we can get the um, the also or a two drop, that would be great. I think we want to have next turn draw the um, obelisk. Oh, we've got the symbiote. Actually, that would be a good um, turn for us, I guess. Yeah. Some sort of two drop. Oh, that's okay. Hopefully we don't get run over. Mm -hmm. mm. That bounce card actually, in the mutate sort of game, I think we should bring that in. Which one? The the um, bounce card. Cause it's oh, yeah. It unpowers mutate cards. It's basically a kill spell for a mutate card. No, like by the way, mm. if you bounce a mutate card, right, they get all of the cards back. Oh, uh, that's... Like, they won't go to the graveyard. That is and it. they can re-trigger all of the mutating stuff. Right? Let's see. Well, let's get a giant out and start doing stuff. <laughs> Is there any cards that can mutate at instant speed? Yeah. There's the octopus, which has, um... It's just a 2-2, so you don't have to worry about getting back ambushing you. But there's, like, another one that's, like, bigger. I think it's, like, 4-4. Four, four. But, for the most part... Oh, I think. That is... Not that great. It helps us race. Yeah. He could have that, if it was dealt damage card, kill it. Totally. That's fine. That's fine. Is there only one mana green spells? Yeah, there's like, uh, I think it's like untap, plus one, plus three reach. But it's not. Come on, better strike. Heron, that's really good. Oh my god. Should we play it? Yeah, we should, yeah. I think definitely, right? Because we can go, like, well, land, mutate. We could take a turn off, play the tapped land, play the otter, and then next turn mm -hmm. hold up the shark, and just play, play, the, play right. this slow. Yeah. Oh, go on. Because this thing could probably attack, like... All right, what do we... If it gets plus one, plus one... It can't attack. If it gets first strike, it can attack. No, no. Because we can always attack because Dream Tell Heron is flying. Yep. No, what I mean is this thing will eventually get crazy where um, it's a it's a threat by itself where we're putting all our eggs oh, in I one basket. I think we have enough long game. I guess. Can we play the shark next turn? We can play the shark. We have five on tap because we need. We have the forest and the island already. So play the hare in this turn, and then um, that, play the shark yeah, next turn. Yeah. Yeah, I think that wins. The we game. have to. We can even play the jumping now next turn as like um as a mutate because it costs five to mutate. Yeah, I like that. Let's. 
hopefully the life link carries through. Yeah, it should. It's a counter, so. Now we we, we want to go over, don't we? Because then we get yeah. one extra toughness. Basically, it's, oh, it might matter. Actually, I, I didn't realize we drew a card. That makes this so much better. Yeah. We should race better than he does, thanks to the life link. Well, what do we get? Plus one, plus one. Oh, these. <laughs> yeah, that's these. I love the counter-target artifact or creature. That that's thematic as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? How many artifacts are there in the set? That's like also. <laughs> you need the kill spell, like right now. All things are gonna get really bad for. All I want is hexproof for the heron. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can really just jam everything. Move a counter, place target player search alive, basically. Yeah. Battlefield mm -hmm. 2. Ooh, what's that? Oh, what it need? Oh, it's gonna bounce us. That's annoying. Do we get everything back though? Yeah, we do. But it makes us much slower than we otherwise would be, which is very unfortunate. We gotta reset the counters. Ah, uh, so annoying. <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we just go two drop, three drop, yeah? We go Symbiote, then Giant. We could go Nah, but I like the Giant a bit better because um, we can start accumulating the counters again. What do you reckon? See Giant and Symbiote? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, sounds good. Or... what's this? We're probably going to take another hit from that. We could hold up Great Shark. And then ambush that at its worst. Yeah, it doesn't sound great. I don't mind it. But, yeah, it's okay. I don't think it's that bad. Yeah. It's only really good if they play a creature pre-combat, which I think is more like a misplay on their part than something good. This at least lets us get this land out, which I think is... Oh, uh, no, we played a land. Yeah. Let's see. Come on. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now, All right, all right. we could... Oh no, that's two life. We want to keep that on the background. Whenever creature you control mutates. Mm. I think we're probably just going to mutate everything onto the giant because it's just, um. It's safe. <laughs> <laughs> they can't actually interact with it, which is great. Unless yeah. he has. There's a black card that mutates and you can make the opponent sack. That would be really annoying.
right now, though, I think I'm more inclined to... Yeah, just want to stack onto the giant. What is that? Oh. Well, that's annoying. What's it reveal? Good. Seven damage. Well, that's better. Look what he revealed. Oh, I thought he revealed the... Oh, okay. Oh, it's a cycle. That's why it's there. Never mind. Yeah, we can just take it. So we kind of want lifelink, I think. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what can we do? We have five mana. What do you think about mutating the trumpeting now onto the giant? We get a 3-3. Three, three. We can use a 3-3 three, three to chump his 5-4. And then and we play a land this turn. And the next turn, we can play another land. We'll have seven mana. And we can play the Thin Bio and still leave up the mana for the Great Shark. Alternatively, we have seven mana to mutate the Heron and also play the Dream the Altar. Yeah, so what do you think about the Novice turn to like get a blocker for the um the five four? We still get blown out by the, <laughs> what do you call it again, the sacrifice guy. I think we can get a plus one and two life by going this one and mutate. Plus we get an, mm -hmm. we could get an extra land draw and we just chump with this. We can double in that case. Because it's a 3-3 three, three, and then Dreamtail Heron is a 3-4 so he has to trade his guy for one of our guys which I think is a good deal. Yeah. So I think Symbiote and then Dream Can of Herring. I think that's fine. And then we can play this tapped, I think. No, no, you don't have enough mana. You don't? You, have, you need to play untapped this then, if you want to do that plan. Because it's 4 to mutate, and you have 3 currently. Yep, no problem. Cast with mutate. And we want to go on top. What, you want Dream on the Giant? Because that's oh. any creature. Oh, I didn't realize that. I thought it had to mutate itself. No. Nah. That is better. <laughs> that is better. Because if we get lifelink, we can just attack, I think. Yeah. And we're getting a card. Now, um... Put the plus one on the... The, um... Heron, I'm guessing? Yeah, on the Heron. That is better. What if we don't chump with the symbiote? Just because the two life that we get every turn is actually going to... Oh, That's good. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Okay, let's see what we get. Come on, likely. Yes, it's not bad, because... I just realized this, right? If we roll well with the uh, the golem, we can pretty much we can never lose combat. It's gonna be really hard because if you roll first strike, death touch, you can kill anything. Oh, how can we even attack? Um, I think we lose this game by dying. So I think <laughs> we should be uh, chumping here. You reckon? Actually, no. We have one more turn. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think we should take this because we just need to stabilize. Hmm. I think you should have attacked there, just because um, if you put him to like lower, you can actually threaten that you'll kill him. Oh yeah, but other thing, if you get death touch, hex proof, and first strike. You can kill any creature in combat and they can't interact with spells or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
We have death touch hex proof, we just gotta get best strength. Yep, yeah, okay, that's, that's good. Fine. Alright, let's get something good with Garuda. Alright, so you think this guy? The Nah? Let's just make... I'm thinking Garuda. Well, this way, this way we get a plus one counter, two life, mm. and a three three, and a card. Yeah. So Importantly we... though, this way, you just get a six six, which is, it's just bigger than his guys. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Can we... I was wondering though. One, two, three. I was wondering if this is the turn that we should leave up the Great Shark. Because he looks like he's leaving up two mana for the Ferdalid. He might have an eight mana play that we want to counter. But the yeah. only one I can think of is the black cycling car. Can we. I guess um... first can we counter mutilated creatures? Because we could swing out and actually let's go we to combat. Can. Let's see what we Wait, wait. Oh yeah. Right. First strike. Oh my god, that's insane. We we hit the dream. Okay. No, don't attack with it. This is that it's it can block literally everything forever. First strike, death touch. Oh my god, hexproof, this is the dream. Now I think we actually mutilate. Uh, we mutate okay. just because we're on seven life. If he makes this evasive, that's how mm. we die. Well, it has to be unblockable, right? Because we're flying already. Um, it would be very hard to make it evasive enough that you could. We can't block it. Okay, I think it's fine to mutate though. I think between that and Garuda is like fairly close, so I don't mind it either way. Can we do anything else? Uh, we could play the. It, it would be the Na, the Jiruda, or the Great Shark. One of these three, I think. I think mutate with this guy. I don't yeah. like the Heron. Yeah. If you play the Heron, you don't actually develop your board at all. So at least with the Na and the, these two, am I putting, it will develop your board. Am I putting this under, though? Yeah. On the on the hexproof, uh huh, and then under. Okay. I can't believe the guy didn't take the um. They someone passed us the <laughs> the giant. That's so insane to me because it's it's so good and it works in literally every deck. So I just I I don't know. It oh, would have we, to be like a we get to draw foil. we we get to draw two cards right now. <laughs> Wait, two cards? Yeah, because the. No, we only have one Heron. So oh, we yeah, one, okay. I yeah, gotcha. But we get a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> we get a bunch of stuff. Yeah, oh, I get... this is so insane. <laughs> oh, my God. Now that's value. <laughs> I think it was over once we got the... There's only, yeah, only one card I can think of that can save him, which and is the, um... I don't think we should the play the Great Shark unless we have to, because that shows them where we have it. Oh, what is this? Look at the top card of your library and put that card into your graveyard. Extra card from your graveyard. This is not very good. <laughs> oh, like, triple color <laughs> chip, man. I'm, like, really underwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> it, it ramps in by one. That's, that's not... <laughs> hmm. Oh my god. Now this is literally the dream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you want to play the Heron and the Great Horn, both mutated, onto the Dreamfell Heron? Do we really want Great to... Horn's there. Don't we want to put it on something else? No, it's because you can't deal with it anyway, and if we do it like this, it's basically permanently protected. But do the Great Horn first, because the Great Horn can get land, and we don't want to draw the land right now. 
Under the heron underneath? Yeah. This is just peak value. <laughs> Can you get vigilance? Yeah. That would be the best. Then we can start attacking. What do we need? I don't think we need anything. We might deck oh. ourselves. <laughs> That's true. Mm, that is true. Can you wait? If you play a land. Oh, that sucks. I think we could play a land. We could hold up the Great Shark, but we need a double blue. Did I fuck up tapping? Uh, kind of, but it, it was contingent on you getting, you drawing an untapped land from the top deck. We haven't played a land this turn, have we? Yeah, we have. Oh, we have? Oh, okay, it didn't matter. Adventurer. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> Vigilance? What is it? Holy shit. Trample, Hexproof, First Strike, Death Touch. Vigilance? <laughs> what, we got Vigilance? We got Vigilance. No, no, we don't have Vigilance. Look at the bottom. What have we actually got? Oh yeah, Trample. Alright, so yeah, yeah. we're passing this turn. Yeah. I, gotta start. I think we should start putting um, counters on other creatures. Or yeah, we can actually, <laughs> no, it's on the creature that mutates. Oh, you're right, okay. Yeah, no, nah, there's no way we deck before he dies. Okay, <laughs> I, got, I gotta start looking at time. Yeah, that's fair. You can just like fast play this. I think once we get vigilance, and if you can leave up Great Shark, then we just will never lose those games. One, two, three, seven, nine. You play a land ten. You can play five mana this turn. Let's see what we get. Life link, not yet. Next turn. Next turn guaranteed. I think we just play the Kraken. Can I just attack? Okay. I don't think that's a bad. We could play um, the Garuda and the Labyrinth Venturer. Yeah. The Venturer can pretty much stop his board too if you just do it in odd. Oh, he's blocking. I'm not going to do anything, unless he has... Oh, Death has Trample! That's so good! <laughs> so really stopped the one damage. Oh, that's insane. Alright, I'm going to name Odd with this guy. Okay, that's fine. I think most of the scary cards are Odd. I'm just going to play to conserve time. Yeah, that's, that's fine. You don't have to play it for me right now. Play the Garuda. Odd? Yeah. Odd. Yeah, Odd. I'm mostly thinking Odd because of... um. The 7-7. Seven, seven. Actually, you can probably hold the Gyruda and the Shark just for like game 2 so he doesn't know about them. Yeah. I'm just gonna attack with everything next turn. Okay. Because this is trading for that. Oh. That's alright. It's okay. Realistically, I don't think how much you care that much. <laughs> no. I've just got I feel like this game is like barely over. Well, we're on 20 life, and we're going to hit for. Seven. Six. Seven. Death <laughs> See what I meant about. 
we just had to make it through the early game. Mm. And like he's got one card well, in hand actually. If I'm honest, I think we I'm pretty sure we won. <laughs> Almost like entirely because we got we rolled lucky on the um <laughs> the giant. So if you could capture fear that, this game would be really different. Oh. See what I mean about pushing through damage and being worried? Hmm. <laughs> It's okay, the life link means that doesn't even matter. Yep. But I meant when we were on 7 and he had a 5 in play, like if he could push through damage. Yeah, that's fair. Do I just attack all? Yep. I think you end the game. Yeah, it's visual in second. Look at all the cannons. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I guess he could fold us theoretically. But he still can't kill some attack back, so it doesn't like that. <laughs> Minus three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Crystalline Giant is incredible. That's a winner. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe they passed us. <laughs> Alright, um. I kind of like how it is right now. What do you reckon? I don't think we need to change anything. Two planes inside, Ah, because uh, I picked them. Last picked. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> we had so many rares. <laughs> <laughs> it was insane! We got like six pick as well. And come on, in some sets, this would be a rare, to be honest. Uh, usually, with the rare, it's like you get. The actual value, so if you pay 4 mana, you get a 4-4. Four, four. Yep. Even our uncommons are like, pretty busted, like, the Great Horn is so good. I think our the own... Gnar is so... Dude, I swear to god, the Gnar is like, the best uncommon in the set. I can't believe a wheel to us. This is actually something I'd spike for. See what I mean about, um, Moto? You drafting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we 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 got a good deck. Plus, we got a lot of money in this. Yeah, our deck is. I think our deck's really. It's really fun. <laughs> like I think if we sell some of these cards, we'll refund this draft, even if we won no prizes. Oh yeah. Because one of these cards is like ten. I think that's ten. Let's have a look. Are foils worth more on Moto? Yep. It's kind of weird to me just because the foils are like, they're pretty ugly. Well, you can cash them out for actual foils. Yeah. And... I, mean, I can see it. I don't know, the way they like, um, they represent it, it's like really, it's just like hazy, you know, and you can't really see it properly. Hmm. That's good enough. On the draw, I think. Well, we're on the draw, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, that's good enough. So we can uh, Symbiote and then Glimmer Bell. Oh, we can't Glimmer Bell. We can Symbiote. Oh, we have two turns to draw land. I think that's fine, yeah. Yes. Alright. Never punished. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect mana every game. We just need a second blue. How come? For our double blue spells. Well, for the Garuda, we actually have the black and the triumph. Oh wow, that's a nice curve. Oh my god, what's so... <laughs> That was a really good start. He has to really kill this this turn. <laughs> and if not, we have a backup. Oh my god, this will give this flying. 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you're looking at that first, but I think Great Horn is probably better. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we want our lands out of the deck, and we want... The ramp out for the Garuda is... Oh, that's so good. I like how they have haste. Yeah. Oh, that's really good too. Cast with... I really like how you cast two for one. Yeah. Well, that's the problem with um, Avacyn Restored, is they had to under put removal in because yeah. the pairing was just two for ones. Yeah. You get blown out so much. So that made removal as a premium. So, But which made the drafting set really good because if you could draft removal, you'd have a really good deck. So it... To be fair, like, removal is always a premium in those two. <laughs> See, when there's bigger creatures, uh, any double blue? Yeah, we might need double blue. Because we got double blue. We have black and white already, so we don't need to fetch those. Prime is really good in our deck. So we got one more, and we cast Gruda. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking... Well, we no, that would just make a 3 3. That's not that great. Mm. You go adventure next turn. Defend against the shark. Mm, that's fine. We can play like two drop, three drop. Yeah. I, I, think, think, fine, right? I think we should play the Mentor because that gives this guy flying. Yeah. And if we play the Glimmerbell with it, we can set up the next turn where we can have two creatures of flying and we can start tapping it for like three mana for two power. Repeatable, that's a pretty decent. So I'm not really sure of all the tricks, but I kind of want to play this first to give this flying to attack. Does that sound reasonable? I don't think flying will do anything. I think you're better off attacking first. And if he has um, a combat trick, you can change your play. Because if he does have a trick, it would be a 4 2, right? Which you can kill anyway. A 4 2 flash. Yeah, Whereas, fair enough. if he has a kill spell, you can make him take 4 damage before he kills spells, or you can use the counter for something else. Like either or is better. Or we could make a 4 4. What do you think about making a 4-4? Four, four? I don't mind that either, just because the Wingspan Mentor does put like a few, a lot of your eggs in one basket. Yeah, I like the 4-4. I think it's reasonable for you. Yeah. Cause we, it's fine. Because we've got a bigger creature here. Yeah. Is this Giving yeah, Garuda flying is like real big money. <laughs> Okay. I actually think whenever this creature mutates. Oh, interesting. I'm really surprised. I think when it, whenever this creature mutates is actually what holds back the mutate. When mm -hmm. any creature mutate, I think that's the powerful ability. Because we kept having to mutate the same creature over and over again to get all the bonuses. Well, it's not that we didn't, we had to, it's we wanted to, because one was protected, and two... Interesting. What's going to go with? Vigilance. Nice. Well, I think best draw is still lane. And then we just play the Garuda. Okay. I'm pretty excited, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Wait, wait, attack best. Oh. Uh... Yeah, attack first. See if he blocks, right? Why would that matter? Well, he might think we have a trick and then not block. Is the important thing. He might get 4 damage. Yeah, fair enough. Also, there's something a really tricky play that could happen. Basically, if he blocks... You know the 4-2 flash? Yep. It's even. It's 4 mana. So we can use Jaruda to kill his... <laughs> his guy. <laughs> 
if we can build exactly that, okay. But it, it would it would be cool if that happened. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realise you could do either player's graveyard. Yeah. Alright, he's so dead. Oh my god. Oh. Beautiful. <laughs> Demon Kraken. Oh. <laughs> oh, is this even? Nah, it's on. I was thinking about it, we'd get like a bunch in our deck. But nah. Did we just oh, get yeah, nothing? nothing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well then, also this blood turtle, comforting the no, no. All right, at least we can make this thing flying. Yeah, getting the blood turtle in our graveyard is actually pretty nice because when we draw the um, the Rekera, we already have it ready for us. Yep. Although I'd rather have no, the, the Ozolith. That would have been pretty good. <laughs> Last game. Oh, sad. Menace Vigilance. It's pretty good. Except that we can make this thing flying and beat you in two turns. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the clock is really fast. We don't have any looters, do we? No, I don't think so. Okay. Now, do we go even or odd? Uh, I kind of like the Glimmer Bell, just because next turn we can tap it and the Wings Bear Mental. And yeah. then we can actually attack with the Glimmer Bell. I see what you're saying, I like it. It might not matter, because he's already technically dead if he does removal, but if he can, like, if he has, like, the Sin Bite and he gains two life or something, then it might matter. And also, we don't really need to be protected with the Lava Reventurer, so if you played like an 8-mana an 8-8 eight 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 or like a 7-mana seven 7-7, seven seven, you know, it'd be nice to be able to decide retroactively what we want to use with the Lava Ring or we're protected from. Yeah, if he was on 3, I would probably say this guy, but yeah. either way, if he kills this, he still gets 2 turns. There's no scenario where we can force a 1-turn kill. Hmm. And I'm a little bit disappointed, Nathan. I did all that work to get you a clicker and you haven't been using it. <laughs> it was good at draft, yeah? And deck construction. <laughs> the, the more things you click, the faster I play, which is important. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, what I'm doing is it's for your own benefit, yeah? But you can actually, you learn the card names. You see what I mean? <laughs> well, I'm just going to give them nicknames anyway. <laughs> That's okay, permission granted. Yep, yep. <laughs> Yay. That's a W. That would be a pretty easy W too. Nice, nice. <laughs> so he's just left himself dead on board. He's... And we're in game two, so. Yeah, it's over. Maybe he doesn't see it. <laughs> did, he, did, he, did he attack? Nah, he didn't. I don't think he, I, I'm pretty sure he knows he's dead. Stop on my turn. Can I do something in the damage step, or do I have to do it in the block step? Uh, I want to say yes, but I don't think there are that many cards that work in the damage step. What I have been curious about is, I wonder if you can play like a trick after they assign their damage, like how they want to do it, like three to this guy, three if you double block. I'm curious mm. about that. I think this is currently my, unless he does something, I think this is my last opportunity to pump. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Uh, <laughs> uh, you ready for another one? Yeah, sure. 
we don't want to do editing. Is our deck perfect? Sorry? Is our deck perfect? Do we need to edit anything? I'm actually feeling mm. this might be pretty weak. Oh, but that was like, we knew that from the beginning, right? We're just playing for fun. <laughs> to be fair though, we never even had it on the field. <laughs> it just got built. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like, it's just correct to not play the other list. Just because. Should we play the Skull Prophet maybe? It is a 3 1, I didn't notice that. Like, that's a lot of damage going unblocked. I think it's decent. But it's. I see Nah. We won't have enough Nah, nah, Not Skull Prophet. Because, uh. Yeah, we're Skull Prophet. To, we'd have to change. We're not going to be afraid of two. I think the fact that we had the Triumph was, like, pretty lucky. You can definitely cut the Oslo if you want to and play, like, um. I don't know what you play. Maybe like another creature, or like like the Blitzleech or the Excavation Mall. But yeah, I wouldn't play the Skull Prophet just because I think you'd have to be base blue, uh, base green black, and then splashing the blue. Whereas we are base green blue, splash black. It's a bit harder. I actually think the Gust of Wind, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's fun too. You could cut the, uh, the Ozzler for the Gust of Wind. I definitely think it's stronger than Ozzler. But that's because I think a lot of things are stronger than Ozzler. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's hard to beat. Like, our counters are very concentrated. And mm -hmm. I think this is a touch too slow. It's really only good if they have purely sorcery removal. If they have any instant removal, the card becomes really weak. It is kill in response. I believe that works. Yep. Because this becomes a trick if they double block, and our creatures are big, so most of the time I think they'll be nah, double blocking. Three. If it was instant, then it'd be really good, but uh, not sorcery. Yeah, yeah, it's sorcery. This is pretty much good just for a tempo play, or it's good if um they play a really big a guy we can't answer. Actually, <laughs> these are pretty good with the ram throughs. <laughs> Alright, sure. Okay, we haven't lost to it yet, so and we haven't drawn it, so we shouldn't be judging it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good strategy. Yeah. It is hard to say if it's good or not. I know we didn't have any... Mo we did have a few moments where we were like, if we draw that, th this thing's going to be good. Because can you yeah. imagine getting a crystal giant, having it dying with all the <laughs> counters, and then yeah. getting it back with one of these things? To be fair, though, the giant would literally never die. Because it was a hexproof, uh, and you... it had first strike death touch. So this is basically grab one card from your graveyard and then shoot her. Yeah, for another card, so mm -hmm. we can get our best card in the deck for four mana, basically. All our best cards are permanent, though. So yeah, it doesn't even really matter. Side caveat: you can't get our removal, or we can get all our best creatures. Play first, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think our deck would have been fast. Oh Ooh. my god! <laughs> I want to keep it. What do you reckon? It definitely. I just. So it, the reason we, I want to keep it is because we have crystalline giant. We have. If we, have, we can draw the land. We have the combo. <laughs> I don't know if I care. <laughs> we just need one land, or yeah. two drop. Yeah, this is not the coward's dream. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's see if you get punished. Oh, uh, fuck. Oh, oh I thought you epic. <laughs> I did. I quickly turned it off. He paused. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no we, we're surprising the Ozolith. It's not yeah, good it's straight so away. Good. So we can we play we're, we're, playing, we're, playing, we're playing around artifact removal here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good. Oh, I actually got there. It's, it's like, not the green that we need. It's like oh. we planned it. Yeah. 
<laughs> there weren't many punishers. You'd have to like go the rim of hell something. Uh, I can't believe I almost F6. I like it. See, I know to turn off auto yields. I yeah. better, I'm gonna go get the hotkey actually. What's the hotkey? Okay, I'm actually so excited for oh, this crystal lime giant. <laughs> and we almost. You, you know, we nearly robbed ourselves of the egg, egg oh. combo. Which one? We nearly robbed ourselves of this combo, by the way. Yeah, go ahead. Because we normally sorted. We almost sorted it out. We robbed ourselves. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> And who would double stack artifact removal? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do we want the best? I think lifelink at this stage? Yeah, that's... No, nah, always hexproof first. Not that we get to choose, but... If we get hexproof first, we can like, you know, play the grave board with protection. Yeah. And there's I... like a lot of things we can do. I think that was like the worst one we could have gotten for the first turn. Yeah, it was great. Actually, like death, death, death Touch does combo with a lot of things like Trample and First Strike. Oh, that's true. Alright, so... Remove Auto Yields is 5. <laughs> Can you hear my chair? A little bit. Okay. I thought it was like really creepy. Once you pointed it out, Nathan, I can't not hear it now. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> good to know. Can we put all the counters on this thing. So, um... We should pre-combat so, Great Horn? No, no, you should attack first. Because if you have a trick, you can respond to it with the ram through it, and you can 2 for one him. Yeah, that's clever. Come on, Hexproof. Hexproof. <laughs> Menace. Okay, that's unfortunate. I was hoping he would be able to block it, just in case you have a trick for it. We he could summon something in. Oh, ram through with death touch is actually really good because we can kill anything. Yeah. Uh, I think I like the um yeah the great horn, just because. You can potentially cast the Garuda next step. Oh, that's so powerful. Oh, <laughs> it's all coming together. Mm. Can we get this back? No, that's even. Yeah. It isn't even. The mutate, the creature itself is even. But the mutate is odd. I meant, like, if they kill this, can we get it back? But we could get the Great Horn back. Oh, just likely, that's fine. Ooh, that would have killed that. If nah, we have, have the ram through. If it didn't have menace. Oh, yeah, they, you're right. Actually, no. Death, uh, that yeah, would make... Ram through. ram through would, um, the death touch would kill our guy. No, no, it's not fight. It's deal your damage to him. Um, white? Yeah, white. What's the double green again? Do we have any? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Okay, these counters... They're alright. <laughs> oh, man. We kind of want them to... Oh my god, is, funny, that, right? is that even? Oh my god, that's even. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his graveyard. Oh, if we could build that, that would be so good. No, we can we we get that, don't we? It doesn't have to be milled, does it? Or... You have to mill, I think. From among those cards. Yeah. Oh. You gotta mill it. <laughs> no. We can ram through kill it, can't we? Yeah. Because it's still getting counters. Mm. Oh, did we kill our own guy? Yeah. Because it's still That's getting counters. Yeah. Nice, a good play. Alright. You ready for this? Hopefully we can get the Void Beckoner.
Yeah, you pass the visitor. I think that's good because he could have put pass and fism on this one. This is still building up. Um, mm. So all we need to do is get that killed. Did that just happen again? Well, sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> I gotta pee. I'll be right back. What happened? Um, he played this thing um, without okay. value. I played Glimmer Bell and cycled a, th a, a um, Tridome. Okay. I just let the counters stack up. Have they got um, Hexproof yet? No, not yet. Okay. Once it gets Hexproof, I think that's good enough to blow up. Well, Hexproof, blind. Got Death Touch, Menace, Reach, Trample. Okay. <laughs> Whenever you cycle. Ah, uh, that's like small games. We playing Death Touch and every. Oh my god, he had a second Void Beckoner! We didn't get the mill either of them. So sad. I'm thinking about playing a big Ivy Elemental next. I don't think that's that bad because if you can block with the Ivy Elemental. You can just stick that all onto the Glimmer Bell and just hit it for tons. I think he should have played that first and then cycled. He probably drew that. Oh, yeah. Actually, yes, no. Yeah, you're fine, I think. You just hold. We could ram through the mental and just get in with the gyrators. As soon as he pumps that, I think we um oh mutate the kraken dude. Oh, they're flying. That's really good. Yeah. You know what? Actually, under. We can actually, um, if we get Hexproof, if he tries to, like, kill spell a Jiruta, we can respond with killing our Greyhorn, which will give Jiruta Hexproof. And we can, like, basically fizzle a, a kill spell. Now, do I attack here? Yeah, definitely. You, like, win this race really quickly. You, you killed him three turns. You have seven now. Do we yeah. attack with both? Yeah, definitely. Otherwise, you don't kill them in three turns, is the important part. <laughs> what did you get? Plus one, plus one. Oh, very sad. Yeah, I guess... Yeah, we haven't got the good ones yet. Well, I guess flying is not good anymore, but... I would still like to hit x -ray. Ooh, he's gonna get a Void back now. I still think... I, I kind of feel that if he pumps... 
we should kill this dude because then we get death touch on this and our baby creatures we can just start chumping. Hmm. I don't know. Cause it only chumps once, right? And basically, if you just use the ramp of a kill spell, it will do the same thing. Hmm. So, it's only good to do that once you get either first track, so that you have death touch first track, so it's repeatable. Yeah. Or it's good in the case that, um... Yeah, that's fine. You easily outrace them, so... As it stands, I wouldn't be too concerned. You just keep doing what you're doing. Uh... No. Wait, hang on. You don't have death touch, do you? Why don't you have death? I mean, you don't have a hexproof, do you? No. Very sad. Oh, so sad. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Oh, no, this guy got pumped up, so now the 4 4 no longer kills it. Fuck. Our plans Wait, game. what? Now... What do you mean? No, 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 it's death touch. So, Ram 3 will always kill it. Because... It, it, you, you, the creature will deal its damage. And because it's got um, death touch, it will count. Yeah, but, life the but I, I wanted a trade. I wanted this to die. That was my main focus. No, it won't ever die because it's not fight. Because uh, it's, it's one sided, so, I gotcha. Yeah, you'll never die. <laughs> now, I'm thinking we should cast Ivy Elemental with everything. Yeah, I think so too. And attack. Oh, you have a first. Yeah, I'll have May as well. What do we get? Lifeling. Oh, this is not what I want to see. Oh, I fucking didn't attack. <laughs> oh, well, it's only one damage. And if it matters, we'll know why. <laughs> <laughs> do we have any... Do we have any way to... We can unsummon. Does that... Leave the battlefield? Yeah. We... yeah. Oh, the Gotham Wind. Back. Snare tactics. Pap pack. Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Though we can't really attack with much because everything has death touch and this doesn't have trample. Yeah. I thought not death touch. We could double with the glimmer and the ivy elemental. Wait, wait, you should block that. Why? It's got death touch. You can move the other lift counters onto the glimmer bell. Oh, that's really good. But won't it assign one damage to each? No, I mean just it's on that menace, does it? So you block with just the glimmer of the ivy oh, elemental. Oh yep. I missed that. Oh, you're good. Oh my god! It's working! The other lift is paying off! <laughs> <laughs> I hope this is good. I really hope this is good. Oh, please come out. Oh my god. We might just win. <laughs> oh my god. Um, we Hold great sh shark up. Yeah. One, two, three, on. four, five, six. We can hold both up. <laughs> Alright, come on, Hexproof. Is it Hexproof? Oh, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. 
It's hexproof. Got hexproof. And it's fine. I can we can do it. We can ram through. But wait for the other list to on resolve. Yeah. Click OK. If we trigger it now, the count oh, the wait. counters will go on obelisk, and this trigger will put them onto the glimmer bell. We can't kill the great horn right now. No, we can't. Okay, good. Oh wait, you can't even ram through your own creature. It's type creature you don't control. Okay. Never mind. The plan never. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My dreams are very short lived. Yes. Oh my god, it's an 8 10. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can we. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. One, two. Okay, we can do everything but one thing. So we can untap, oh. ram through, or uh, a combination of those three things. <laughs> oh, the best thing is, he can't use Snare Tactician, tactician to stall our Glimmer Bell, because if he does... We can untap it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so he got counted so hard. <laughs> <laughs> The Evolving Wilds might save him. Mm -hmm. He has one card in hand. Okay, looking good, looking good. Or well, we can counter a creature artifact, so it has to be a spell. And we get yeah. our seven. <laughs> if he kills this! If we he ever kills him, he dies. <laughs> yeah, if he has a kill spell, we can um, put the counters onto the Migratory Greyhorn. And when we do that, Wait, wait, you should untap, right? Oh, too late. Doesn't matter. Yeah, because, um, ram through will deal excess trample damage. So if we put the seven counters onto the Great Horn, and the Great Horn have trample, we'll just kill him. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> um... So even a kill spell isn't good enough right now. Should I play no, the Great think... Shark? Nah, nah. I think he's got nothing and he's just, uh... We don't want to show him because this is the first game, right? Yeah. I feel like the first game always takes ages and the second two games are, like, really short. It's because when I start losing time, I start playing faster. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on, Okay. Oh, he has something. Wait, you can respond to that with your own ram through to fizzle it. So. Wait, wait. No, no, do your great horn onto his guy because then you'll actually deal through trample. It's just extra. So, how do I target this? Target creature you control deals. Yeah. So how do I target that? You've got to pick one of the creatures so I can... Yeah. And then him. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. I like that death touch careful work for this suit. <laughs> Did we get lifelink oh, for that? Did we gain yeah, life? <laughs> yeah. Spell <Spilled> life. <laughs> now that's value. All right, so we almost sideboarded out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's good though. Like, I feel like that was like the ideal situation, and it could have ended really poorly if he had that ram through earlier. I did not that see said... this. I did not actually see this combo. So. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Do I just run it back? I'm just getting all the counting <laughs> counters. Just admiring your cards. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just putting all the count the um. Is lava pink a counter? What? 
Or is it just stun protection? Uh, yeah, just protection. This guy. Oh, okay. It's not a protection counter, is it? I think it's counter. That would have worked. Back for more. Back for more would have killed our dude. But yeah. That's a lot of synergy cards. Probably a lot. <laughs> Alright. I will say though, I think the olive is really good with the Ivy Elemental and the um, Crystalline Giant because you can make a lot. Whereas with the Symbiote, it's like a lot smaller increments that you're moving around. It's yeah. like a lot less impactful. Doesn't the randomness make it fun though? It is really funny, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> sometimes you roll lucky with your giant, sometimes... Actually, I think we we, we rolled the worst combination possible. Yeah, it was pretty sad. <laughs> but it didn't matter. But you're right, hexproof early means good game. Yeah. Just because it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and you can just like mutate onto it and they pretty much have to have the sack card, the sack mutate. I can't even think of a board clear, like outside of ruin this ultimatum, which is this one. <laughs> like and it's like that's like so hard to cast, right? So Oh wow, that's a good hand. Now do we play the Tridome? Actually I think we keep it. To cycle. We might need white black, but yeah, I think we play all the list and one. Keep. Yeah. Yeah, keep. Now you good think. Hand. Really good hand. Now you do think play the obsolith. Yeah. If I have to guess, our line of play is going to be turn one obsolith. Oh my god. <laughs> they stack though, so what every creature that mutates is going to get three counts and we're going to gain six life. Yeah, but I think what we're going to do is, um, over the turn one. Oh, wow, the size board tech. <laughs> <laughs> Our dreams are so short lived. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, that would have been insane. And I played the... Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. I'd well, like to get Well, I'd now. rather him kill that than the giant, to be honest. I agree. Just because the giant is like, uh... Guaranteed value. Yeah. Whereas he... the other is kind of like, predicated on... Uh, yeah, he... Say, if he... you have no right now. Yeah, he really fucked that up, I think. Depending on his hand, I guess, but... To be fair, he can still pass with his own. Oh, he got nothing? Oh, he got nothing. Oh. Nice. Uh... Yep, let's get our giant building. You know, because that card, um, that green rare that we got that returns cards, it's actually returned permanent, so we could get the old one back. <laughs> I don't know if it's good. I we can, it's an option. We've got Oh, so wait! You had to play it pre-combat, so you got the, um, oh, the giant effect. That is so bad. No. Alright, uh, learning. We, we learnt something <laughs> for the finals. <laughs> sure, sure. Now, do I cycle before playing a land? Uh, I don't think so. But I think you wanted to... Jamming at your guys, right? Yeah. All I want is hexproof. Is that too much to ask for? Wow, that's <laughs> really weak. <laughs> that's not good. Yeah, that's really weak. Actually, why did we play that card? Oh, that's good. We can play that, and we can play both our thin biopsis this turn. Oh, attack first. Come on, Hexproof. 
Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Now, is there any combat trick for one black? Not that I can remember. If I had to guess, he's probably just cycling. Ooh, that cycler gives death touch. No, but that's three mana cycle. <laughs> Oh, three mana. Okay, so we can't attack into three mana. Mm. Yeah, I would risk the um your guy until after you get um. Now. Best strike, best strike. I actually think we should have played a tap land and cycled one because we actually want to now get mutate creatures. I think we can wait for that because right now I just really want to develop our board because then we can actually get um we get more benefit once we get the mutate feature yeah because right now our lead is definitely not insurmountable well i say that but our lead is really good right now <laughs> it's like really good really hard and, to win and i actually think we make a case about not mutating the go golem because i think we're putting really? all our eggs in one basket I think it's like it's a good basket to put into though because it's a protected basket, right? Whereas if you put it onto the symbiote, then you could just kill spell it, and then suddenly you don't get the counters and you don't get the six life. Yep. That's completely fine. So he can double block one of our symbiotes if we attack with everything. Yeah. Which is a fine trade. No. Oh, oh, that's so good. Oh, we can't play it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, if we had one more untap, we could have played the Nar, and then on our giant, it would become a six six, and we get three a three three. Oh, that would have been. <laughs> so, um, guaranteed two packs. Nice. We're, pl we're playing for six packs, so we're basically got some, uh, some good red as well. So as long as you can learn and not make mistakes on the platform, there's a bit yeah. more skill edge and the prize is just a better for money, I think. Unless the prize is really oh, good. Oh, remember I told you that... Um, what do you call it again? You draft against bots in uh, MTG Arena. Yeah. It made it so that you draft against real people now as well. So. Oh, wow. It is more similar. Can, yeah. you, can you resell yeah, like, cards? No. So it's, like, it's hard to do infinite because... Um, also, you don't keep the cards you draft. I think oh. that's like, pretty important. Wait, that's, do you? That's interesting. Wait, no, you do. Um, play on. first. <laughs> yeah, play first. That's kind of questionable, but... We have the fin by it. We need to draw a land within two turns, I believe. Yeah, I like it. I think it's fine. Okay. This is a bit more questionable than our last keep, just because our payoff is um basically not having to mulligan, whereas last time the payoff was we pretty much will be really far ahead. So we have a really strong thing going. Well, if we mulligan and we get all lands or one land, I think we're in a worse yeah. position. At least we have a play here. <coughs> And yeah, this, I this, think it's okay. this hand gets fairly good with one or two lands. Like, if we can get yeah. Otter down. Otter plus, Otter plus Heron is great. Mm. That's good. We do have a pair we, of that. We we, have lands. And we are on the play, so Otter is at its best. Okay. We actually have a perfect curve out if you go in, because you can turn to Symbio, turn through Otter. Turn 4, Mutate Heron. Turn 5, Ivy Elemental, Exodus 4. And then turn 6, Garuda. But that does require us to get quite lucky. <laughs> we just need to draw back-to-back -back lands. Mm, I never like these cards. The Doom Travel type of card. They always feel... Oh, that looks good. Ooh. Yeah, the Doom Trap from the parts are always, like, um, a bit questionable. And, um, it doesn't kill the order. It's like, two one ones would, one one, yeah. one at a time doesn't. Uh, 
That's annoying. We cannot double, we cannot attack anymore because the double is not advantageous to us. Alright, blue. Go blue. Oh, yeah, I didn't realize we didn't have blue. Yeah. Oh. I think we probably do iron for two. What do you reckon? Um, is there any reason to. We're not attacking through this. And do you really it's need a 2 2? It's something that we can do, and then the Heron will become really big when we play it, because then the Heron will become a 6 power flyer that we can attack with instantly. Yeah. Whereas right now, the Heron is like a 4 power flyer, which is also okay, but the clock is much slower. Yep, I didn't figure it for a mutate target. This is actually quite a good mutate target. Yeah. Because of the plus 2s. I think twos. that's why it's got, yeah, it's got value in the set. Cycle. He's playing some really junk cards. No. All right, we just gotta pass. <laughs> oh wow, that sucks. But no, there is no but. It's just not very, very unfortunate. <laughs> okay, I did not factor in that we didn't have blue, because we've had perfect <laughs> mana. <laughs> uh. He is pa playing a pile of junk, three colors. Yeah. Like he's just played three weak cards so far. But at the same time, he is on two O right now, so I have to imagine his deck is not total trash. We he might have an asset. We two owed um yesterday. And just in a different order. <laughs> sure. Come on, if he's playing Garrison, how good can he... Oh, oh that's what he'll do. So, Dreamtail Heron on the Elemental? Yeah. This is great. Because we'll probably be able, we might be able to get an Elemental from this. Yeah. I kind of wish we had the otter out and we could put it on the otter, but that's just greedy, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, Well, it's just that the mana didn't line now, up a little bit like... Now, do we attack with the symbiotic now that he's tapped? I would, yeah. If we get another island, we have perfect mana again. <laughs> yeah. Although we still need two more lands to play the Darina. But we get draws from this, so... Now, what are we mutating the Gar on, is an interesting question. I kind of like the Heron, just because even if you can deal with it, we get the 3-3 three, three Ender card, so it's not really a 2 for one So we've already gotten that value out of it. Yep. Oh, that's big. <laughs> that's what I like to see. Not even Divine Arrows anymore, because we're just too big. Oh, land. It's the... See what I mean about tap lands? Wait. I'm reconsidering the attack <laughs> on him. <laughs> too too late. Okay. okay. That's fine. Exile target carded with cycling ability from your graveyard into the next. You may play that card. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> it's on twelve. <laughs> oh man, that's so much damage. Oof. I think all we need to do is hold great, like play the order next turn. Yeah. Mutate. What if this can you gain full life? Okay. That is. Well, it does slow down a bit, but yeah, I'm not that concerned. <laughs> does he have vigilance? Yeah, it does. But it's a four-four. Like Sacrifice whatever. To a creature to, to any target. Oh, that's whatever too. Yeah, that's pretty shit. To any target. It can kill our thieving otter though, but as long as you can't kill our bird, 
but he's then throwing he's away carbs. He's playing. Yeah. He's playing. It's basically um, a worse that black one oh. mana. Yes. Oh, sh all right. Shock. Um. All right. Play forest because then you can um, you take the null onto the heron. Yeah. Because then under or over. Uh, under. Yeah, we get a counter, we get the life, we get the card, we get the beast, and he can't attack with the um the ball ball anymore. Oh wait, no, he can, because then he'll shock in response. This is a pretty good though, because then yeah. we can start from. Um... Ooh, I'm a so good. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. I think we actually um play that on a different creature. But now we can't play the shark. Yeah. We can't hold up the shark. Well, we don't have double blue anyway, so we can't hold up the shark anyway. But if we, um, yeah, I, that's just the downside of this play is we don't have the no, shark no. for the. Triumph doesn't tap a blue, so we, we can't play the shark either way. Oh, I meant next turn. But no, we... no, next turn we still can't. Yeah, try. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. If the pay, the play is basically contingent on us. Um, just drawing what he's telling you. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Well, ours is much bigger than his. Yeah. His is still a 4-4. Four, four. Well, aren't you annoying? I actually think we should mutate this guy. Or the... Yeah. We don't get the beast, but we do get another attacker. We can even play Jaruda this turn. What do you think? 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, 6-6 six, six is big. Attack like, first? <laughs> yeah, attack first. Four plus seven. Yeah, okay, never mind. We didn't threaten lethal either way. Are right, you gonna play your lane? Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we missed three times in a row. <laughs> I'm probably even hit against the last guy who had like two of the. Really, really oh my good. god. We just missed oh again. Oh, a giant! <laughs> At least we can make that flying next turn. Yeah. And he is looting. That's like, yeah, not a big... Oh, man! Now, the reason for playing the hair in that turn is we could have attacked with the beast. Yeah. Importantly, though... It doesn't actually kill him. He would have too light and he didn't block everything, so I yeah. don't think the Yeah, I like I like your thinking. Although in hindsight, if we knew that guy Ruda would miss, yeah, probably just play the heron. <laughs> it... Oh no. Oh yeah, bitch. Obelisk is um Shit against pacifism. Yeah. Maybe we can side that against him. Oh, so many blockers. That's okay. I think we still win in the long run. I think we still fly a beast. Yeah. <sighs> oh, that's good. But we can't play okay, it. So can't play it. No, no, play the heron. Yeah, but we still don't have double blue. <laughs> um, no, no, but he, he loses his mutate guy this turn. Right, so he play the heron um, on the beast? No, no, on the Garuda, he dies. Well, he doesn't die, but he, he's forced to block with the unicorn, and then that's like one major threat to get up with. 
But if we play it on the beast, the beast gets flying, and he still uses loses that because this becomes a f four, five. Yeah, but he doesn't die. Importantly, it it means that he's not forced to jump with his unicorn, and if he doesn't have to be forced to jump with the unicorn, next turn he can mutate and he can draw cards and he can gain four life, and yep. then we might not be able to kill him. That's why I like this a bit better because. If he's forced to jump with it, then, um... Boom, boom. Yep, you're right. Mostly, if our guy Rudu is, like, not that great right now because he's got so many grounded blockers, which is why I think it's, like, right under. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching that mask. Uh, yep. I understand. I didn't do the math. Now, do we attack with everything? Yes. No. With the beast, yes, but... Oh, wait. What's he got? Oh, wait, he's dead. No, he's not dead, but he loses his board. Like, his literal whole board. Yeah, that was everything. He gets a 1-1, one, one, remember, off this guy. Yeah, but he can't block with it, so it's not a big deal. Oh, we got a blue off that, too. Nice, we can play the Otter. <laughs> we can mutate. Yeah, I'm laughing, Daddy. He that really, is really hates that. <laughs> yeah. That thing's been doing. Having three of them is actually so good because they stack so efficiently. Uh, we'll just play Otter, what do you reckon? Yeah, definitely. This thing probably. Like... Greedy shards over. <laughs> okay, he can't come back from this. We got a six six. Seven seven. <laughs> Fly. Do we have an instant? We don't have an instance of sorcery to return though. Yeah, nah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> over. Now will we change right, we'll it? Starting out on the list for it. Yeah, what do you think about fighting at Ozzelin? But when it's good, it's good. Did he side in? Is this the guy that sided in? He hasn't seen the... Yeah, this, is, uh, this is game one. But he has pacifism when it's not great against. I will say, though, what we could do is we could side in Gust of Wind. So if our Crystalline Giant gets Hexproof, and then he pacifies it, right? We can bounce the pacifism after we get Hexproof, and he can't do anything because... Yes, it's, it's, I like that. On. I like that. Now, what do we take out? What do you think about taking out the otter? Because he had a lot of grounded blockers. Yep, that's a good... Otter's good if we can mutate on it, but at the same time, we have a lot of good mutate targets, so... And I, I think three is actually the wrong cur curve for our mutate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It doesn't work with our great horns, but it works with our herons. Yeah. And by that time, because our mutate curve is so early, because we want to mutate on the mutate. I think yeah. that's why. You like this? I like it. Okay, I need to play a bit faster as well. 15 minutes, I'll be the time. <laughs> mm. I think this is better than last time. Especially since we're on the, the play. Yeah, I would keep this. Yep. Although... Yeah, I don't know why he is 2-0. Because now that I think about it, he didn't really play good cards, he played Pacifism, right? And he played like a lot of really questionable cards. I think he had a lot of synergy and value. So still keep this? Yeah, I'll keep it. It's better on the play anyway. Cycle, I guess. Ooh, nah. If we can turn three nah and then turn four heron, four. We just gotta draw one forest. 
within the next two turns, that's like really doable. So you're saying just play this as is? Yeah. Can you mutate? You, you can't. You, something has to have mutate to mutate onto it. You can't use yeah, it from the battlefield. But the mutate cost is like quite steep, so playing it as like it's just a 3 mana 3 3 is actually pretty decent. Alright, next turn. We can also stack all of our mutators onto the um, the, the the white card that we have because if we protect from odd or even, that protects against pacifism and sphere of capture, which I think is um even the red cards, the removal red cards is like fiery prophecy, two mana, the rumbling land was like four mana. Did he discard? So even... no. Yeah, I think he's cycling. What is that? Humans you can target. Mm. Um, oh, great. Do we play this? No, I think we can do better, right? It's just a 1-3 on board. That really doesn't do anything. But if we draw a land, it means we can mutate, and then we can draw another land. No, no, we can't, because it's a human. Yep, okay. We so we can't be able to do it. <laughs> yep, okay. Pass turn. Yep. I kind of want to play... If we get, draw a non-color land, I kind of want to use this to get it in the graveyard for this, just in case. If you do that, though, we'll have to discard, because we draw for turn, we go to um, eight cards. You play Gusts of Wind, you yep. bounce it, and then you draw another card, you go back to eight, and you discard anyway. Still gets us deeper, though, for... Um, Can you um, mouse over this? It's like a bad um, mm -hmm. opposition. Yeah. <laughs> The to be fair, off vision would be like kind of busted in this. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I think we play it now. Yeah. Definitely. Just so we can stop us from discarding as it were. Wow. That's like four turns without a land. Very sad. <laughs> I think he just got uncolor screwed as well. My first responder, yeah. Well, we need to draw something soon, or we'll be very sad. <laughs> That's so far away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we could discard a creature for the back one more. Is that? We can discard, because this is an ETB trigger, not a cast trigger for the Gyruda. Eh, that's okay. Um, but, we, we're so far away from casting back for more. Yeah. I just want, if we can bounce this dinosaur, that'd be really good, because we can stop all his mutate shit. It's good enough. So you think, um, Gust of Wind now? Well, I'll play that either play the Nar, we can reset up the next turn. Or we can gust of wind, bounce this and he can't mutate. Or we can just play we can play the Nar, and then if he could the token right, so it, it it won't return to his hand. So I think that's peace. Yeah. I like it better. Just because um Sorry. unless he gets like a map. So you play the Nar? Yeah, I think so. Just because um, we can damp whatever he plays anyway, so it's not as big of a deal. I also don't like that if we dust the wind, we have to discard. Did we have to? Seven. Yeah, okay. I think we definitely want to... Oh no, we didn't, because we drew a land, so we didn't have to discard. If we can just draw running lands, that would be great. If um, it fails to mutate and just comes into play, yeah. do you what still the get the trigger? Um, 
Yeah, no, you don't get the trigger. When you know, the any number of non-land permanents you own and control, about the beginning of your next end step. Okay, so well, that does nothing. <laughs> you can actually exile. If he exiles his tokens, he loses them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Is that flying? Yeah, full five. Yeah. That's actually bigger than our parent, which is quite annoying. That's okay, he hasn't been attacking us, so our life total is really healthy. I would like to play the Gust of Wind for two mana though, so preferably we draw a land, we have five mana, we play the Heron. And then the next turn, we can play a, a four drop, and then we can play the um. Um. I think Heron. Yeah. What about you? Because we could draw a land that we can just play from, like, yeah, the same to Great Horn. Yeah. And also it's more mana efficient because then next turn, if we have three mana, we can play the Great Horn, and because we set up flying with the um the Heron already. Over. Then our um, Gust of Wind is two mana cheaper. So then we can play Gust of Wind and Great Horn. Yes, clever. And don't forget this pumps flyers. Yeah, we can make it bigger soon. Beast. Oh. Nice, it's got the land. And it's a land for back or more. Everything's quaking out. <laughs> <laughs> Gust of Wind costs two. Should we unsummon this? Just for curve yeah. reasons? And then... If not for curve, it's for um, tempo reasons. Because then he can get forced to take another turn off and you can build your board state more. Yeah, and I'm thinking Great Horning the Heron again. I think so. And putting it underneath. Well, it doesn't matter, they're the same stats, don't they? Uh... Yes, I think it doesn't matter. We can draw a card. Yeah, okay. Oh. Annoying, but that's really slow because if we bounce the um the bird, then Yeah, we can take this. That's okay. Now do we attack with everything? That's the question now. Yeah. Nah, if we attack with everything, he's going to double block our one three. But we can attack with the beast. Attack with the beast? Actually, maybe not. Oh no, yeah, we can have it the beast. Yeah, we bounce this, and then we can attack with these two. So we are great. We are gusting a wind, then great horning. Wait, actually, we do want to draw land, right? Not really. We have six. So we yeah, we great horn first. Yeah, okay. So great horn first. Yeah. <laughs> I think we have enough land, so it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, we don't want to draw any more lands. So cast with mutate. What am I tapping? Uh, doesn't matter. I guess you can represent what one one mana. <laughs> I have no idea. I love seeing this. Like mm. just seeing the each trigger stack is oh so good. Now does the same trigger stack multiple time? If we have two herons, will they both yeah. trigger? And you'll draw two cards. We just drew. Like green. Oh, that's so good. Okay, and then we play Gust of Wind. Yeah, and you shouldn't be able to attack back and draw cards. <laughs> Ooh, now that is value. Oh wow, the trade's actually good for us too. Yeah, exactly. The less creatures we have, the um, the less we have to worry about like the tap down card, and also him drawing cards by attacking. Now I think we Groot on um, next turn. Yeah. What I want to do is um, if he plays the the five four bird again. We play the Lord Rackers onto our guy, 
Yeah. Your card would go to the land, we did a 3 3, <laughs> and then we can get back the Gust of Wind, and then we can rebounce it, and we basically time walk him. Create a token that's a copy of target permanent. If I'm going to go. Copy the permanent. Except the permanent. When this permanent is. Oh, he paid for it! He <laughs> oh my god. He finds one there. Alright. Okay. He just, he's going to kill our beast, but it's fine. Now, just don't change what we do. I think we prep nah. Garuda now. Oh, oh no, no, can he bounce this? Will this come back? No, it's a token, so we can bounce it. So I still want to play the Lord Rackers. What do you reckon? Yep. Alright. Uh, so let's go with Lord Rackers first. Oh, okay, uh, I'll be honest, this deck is really funny. <laughs> it's like really sick. Okay, we want to go under. Yeah. It's just, it's funny how little he can do about anything. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Cause now that we can actually loop this, it's so crazy. Stack the triggers. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I really hate this triggers all have the same picture. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. We're gonna have to discard. Yeah, that's fine though. Oh my god, it goes to the battlefield. <laughs> so oh. I'm unsummoning this? Yeah. And then next turn we can pair him and then gust if he plays something again. Oh, I'm playing He's, Crystal oh, Giant. <laughs> oh, beautiful. You don't have to discard anymore. Trample. That's alright. We can give it flying and then it has one less chance of getting a flying. Oh no, it, it, no, it's a token. It, I think it counts before it counters. Yeah. So if it's not a flying counter, yeah. Did I not play a land? No, you did, I think. I think I didn't. Yeah? Oh. I thought it breaked out. Pacifism. Sure. I still think we might mutate that. I agree. Because we can gust to win the passives. <laughs> oh. Or we can pass nah, it. We, can... we should gust to win that, and then we can almost kill him. Can we kill him? No, we can't. We are close, though. Why did he do that? Oh, so I can have a Maybe extra cycle, man. I guess. <laughs> oh, ram through. So, I just want to mutate. Wait, wait. Yeah. Because we can get the do. We just draw a bunch of cards. Yeah. Oh, we're so close. We're one of lethal. No, we we could get lethal. No, we can't. We don't have mana. I was thinking we could gust of wind hit bird and in response to the wait we we could ram through hit bird. No, we can't because it's sorcery. Eat <laughs> <laughs> it. Oh, look at that. Two o two o two o. Beautiful. <laughs> Didn't even drop a game. Oh. <laughs> Alright, right, stop the recording. I'm really sad that we missed the draft. <laughs> uh, I, I swear to God, drafting like five colour.